Today in the 16th session, we'll go for the new concept called as DMA or Dynamic Memory Allocation. DMA, that is Dynamic Memory Allocation, is a process allocating the memory storage space at runtime, is known as Dynamic Memory Allocation. When you create some memory according to the size what you required, is called as creating memory at dynamic or at runtime. This is called as Dynamic Memory Allocation. Static memory allocation, the process allocating the memory storage space at compile time is known as static memory allocation. Now for example, if I say integer i, this is called as static memory allocation. Before compiling the program, I have given, I have declared a variable. I say scanf percent d comma ampersand i and printf percent d comma i i will be scanning a particular value and printing the same value itself on the screen that is 5 and 5. The DMA is a concept in which we have uh, four functions in DMA that is malloc, calloc, realloc and free. We all, we will be seeing all these four functions one after the other. First of all, malloc. It is commonly used function to allocate main memory. malloc returns a void pointer to the allocated buffer. What does malloc do? Going to use a pointer, p takes up the address of i. Now, instead of ampersand p, I can substitute ampersand i, I can substitute it with p. So there will be no difference, absolutely it is the same, even if you place p or ampersand i. Saying ampersand, address of variable will be declared which is 9062. Saying a star outside, the value at that address is displayed on the screen. Now again, instead of saying ampersand i, I can place it with star p. No difference again, it will be the same thing, 5 and 5. So once I place the address of the variable into the pointer, from there onwards there is no need for me to use the pointer. So I'll skip creating the variable at compile time and I'll create the variable at runtime. So this ampersand i will be done, the address of i, the address of that variable will be done with the help of malloc memory allocate which comes from alloc.h. So memory allocate according to the size of integer. This by default gives void pointer as you can see, malloc returns a void pointer to the allocated buffer and so convert it into integer pointer. Now you can place the address into p. Therefore when you scan for a value, it will be stored at that particular space which has been allocated according to the size I, what I have mentioned and is given it converted into integer pointer finally placing it into the pointer variable p. Now when I scan its p that is address of that variable and I am printing value at that variable. If you simply ignore the scanf statement and if you check the value at that address it will be 0. And if you want to see the address simply say p because p is p holds the address it is 1862 1862 is the address in which 0 is placed. Coming to the second function it is also calloc is also used to allocate main memory if we want to initialize memory then calloc is required it is more convenient the malloc void star calloc unsigned and items and size 
the difference between m alloc and c alloc is c alloc takes two arguments the number of variables you want to create and the address is placed into p finally if you want to print it's again 0 and 862 as a value you can even scan percent comma p the value what you say along with the address 1682 so the difference between c alloc and m alloc will take it up m alloc needs one argument while c alloc needs two arguments by default memory allocated by m alloc contains garbage values whereas that allocated by c alloc contains all zeros these are the two differences between m alloc and c alloc now coming to realloc reallocate stands for reallocation realloc is a function which attempts to change the size of a previous allocator block of memory if original block size cannot be resized then realloc will attempt to assign a new block of memory and will copy the old block contents realloc can be explained in this way i'm using mlloc to create certain space and instead of scanning value at that address should be considered 34 now I'll print the value and the address later on what I say is P so later on what I say is as I've taken value at that address should be 34 and I'll be printing 34 and its address now I say P takes up the reallocated new address of 34 which is quite same as convert it into integer pointer and realloc according to the size of integer but the difference is we need to place where the address is at present later on it will reallocate that particular address to a new value and then when i say printf percent d percent d comma p comma star p i'll be seeing the value at different address p comma star p so if you see initially when you used malloc and you have reserved some space given the address into p printing the value and the address it happens to be 101 is the value at the address 1862 now the value at that address it should be 34 after that if i print it it shows 34 is the value at the address 1682 later on when i reallocated the address 1682 according to the size what i've created and placed it into p now when i print the value at the address and also the address 34 has been shifted to 246 is the latest ad addressed this is how we can reallocate the already created space to other new location finally the free function it is used to deallocate memory pointer variable free in that pointer variable alloc.h is a very is a header file in from which all these functions comes void main in which we say integer pointer variable p takes up converted integer from m alloc according to the size of what i say and now when p takes value at p uh, it should be 34 again so printf percent d comma star p displays it on the screen finally when you say free p 
it destroys that address created as malloc reserves according to the size what we have said free deletes that allocated size this is what free does so 34 is displayed on the screen later on the free function coming from alloc has been deleted has deleted the memory created dynamically this is about the concept of dynamic memory allocation